In the last video, we have talked about init method. And now we know when you create a class, when you create the object of it, it's going to call the init method. But then in between, I mentioned about constructor, right? And then we have also discussed that constructor is not init. It's something else. So let's talk about what is that something else. And to understand that, let me create a new file. Let's not touch the computer class. Maybe we are going to do something more with this. So in this package or in this particular folder of op, I'm going to create a simple file. Let's name it as cons.py. Okay, that's a, the name sounds weird, but anyway, that works. In this file, I'm going to create a simple class, which is called ABC, nothing fancy, just a simple class. And I'm going to create a simple method, which is show. And we know that the show need to have self as a keyword. And then inside this, we can basically print something. Let's print in show. Okay. And now let's do the heavy task, which is creating the object for ABC. And now we know how to get the object. We can say obj1. And to create the object of a class, we use a class name and then we give a round bracket. And that's how you create the object. And then here, obj1.show, that's how you call the method. It should work. We have not done something very different. So it prints in show. But then let's also try to use the init method here to see what happens. So if I use init here, and of course, init also needs self. And if I give a colon, enter. And let's also print something here. So I'm going to print init called. Okay. So now let's try to understand the sequence. The sequence is we are creating the object of a class. Now, whenever you create the object, it will call the init method. So it should first print init called, uh, and then we are calling show. So it should print in show, right? So I'm going to clear this and run. And that's what we got. We got init called and we got in show. So nothing much. But then if you try to create another object, which is obj2. And then of course, with obj2, I want to call show. Now this will not work because we don't have the obj2 object. So let me create one. So I will say obj2. And the way you can create the object, we know the syntax, but let me show you another syntax here, which is abc. And the moment I say dot, it should give you multiple options. But one of the option, if you see, we got something called new. Okay, so we can use abc dot new underscore underscore, and we can use a bracket here. But then this method, so it's an inbuilt method, which takes class as a parameter. So I can pass ABC. Okay, this works. And let's see if it creates the object or not. See, ultimately, we just want to call show, right? If we can get in show two times, our job is done. Let's clear this and run. And you can see we got in show two times. So that means this is one way of creating an object. Now, what is this method here, which is new? So what we can do is we can create a method called underscore underscore new underscore underscore and this will take what now since we are passing a class we have to accept a class here so it's a cls and let's print constructor called and that's right this thing here is a constructor so even if you do this it is calling the constructor okay uh, let me show you something now let me just run this we got the error, but ignore the error. Look at the first statement. It says constructor called. So that means even before you call the init, the moment you create the object, it will call the constructor first and then it will call the init method. But the question arises: why we are getting an error. It says attribute error, none type, object has no attribute called show. Okay, so the problem is when you call show here and you can see it is on the obj1, not on obj2 because we, we have not even went to obj2. We got the error on obj1 itself. When it calls show, it is expecting that there's a method called show. And even before you call the show, the init method should be called. Unfortunately, init method is not getting called. Because behind the scene, when you write the syntax, it calls the new method. Now you will say we are creating now. We have not done that before. Even if you don't do it, uh, the new method will be there. And that new method calls the init behind the scene. Okay. And again, there's no compulsion to write init method, right? We have seen that. We, we wrote init method before so that we can initialize the values. So even if you don't have these two things, you can call show. It's just that these two things are predefined and they will be getting called in sequence. First, it will call new, new, new it will call init. But now we are creating our own new method. Now, before I describe how do you solve this problem, I want to tell you one thing. Whenever you want to create the object in future, this is a syntax which you're going to use. You're not going to use this syntax. This is just, I wanted to show you how constructor looks like because people are, people do get confused between init and constructor. This is a constructor. This is not a constructor. 
Okay, so you're not going to use this. And not even you are going to write a new method. There should be a very special case to do this. Example, if you want to create a class where you just want to get only one object, that means even if you try to create new object, it, it should always return that one object. So that is called a singleton class. And if you want to achieve that, you have to write this syntax. Maybe you want to uh, control the object creations with the values. In that case also, you can use new. But those are very rare cases. And in the entire series, this was a rare case where we are doing this. Okay, now let's try to solve the problem. The problem is the new is not calling in it. So if you are defining it, it is your responsibility to, to pass it forward. Even if you're not calling in it, you have to pass it forward. And the way you can do that is by saying return. You have to pass the object of a class. So you can pass the object of a class by saying new class. But then even to call new, you need something we'll say super dot, which will take two parameters. So one is ABC and second is this CLS. Now this syntax looks weird and we don't want, want to focus more on the syntax here because we have not talked about inheritance and all the stuff. But the super you will see the in, in, in inheritance and that's how you do it. Now, you, do you want to remember this? Of course not. I just wanted to show you how this new looks and this will solve the problem of this. It's going to forward the request and you can call show, but still it is not calling in it. So you can call in it from here or you can manually call in it. So if you want to use new syntax, you have to use their rules. Now let's see if this works and it works. You can see in it is getting called. So yeah, that's about constructor. This is a constructor. This is not a constructor. That's what I wanted to prove, but we are not going to use this example again. So ignore it. Thank you so much.